working with him again? Well, I think that he's such a generous actor and he's so pure that really the best thing to do with Asa is react to his acting. You see the character there, you see he's worked on it, you, he presents something wonderful to the film set, and all you do is pay attention to it and react. You're very relaxed. <laughs> is there, was there any challenges on the, the making of this film? That you, you uh, well, acting is a very strange job, but I've got used to it, and I love it. So I don't any longer find it, it particularly challenging. No, it's all, it's all a joy. Mm -hmm. So how do you differentiate each character? From the ones that you collect. I was. I suppose it's if if you're fortunate enough, you have horses, don't you? If you if you if you have a stable of several horses, you always immediately you're on the back of one of your horses. You know it's none of the others. You know it's that unique horse. It's very similar with with characters I play. They have that. They have. They have to have their own uniqueness. Mm -hmm. So, what was your favorite part about making this? I think the director Gavin Hood actually, wonderful man to be with. And then everybody else. <laughs> Has you read the book before? I hadn't, ma'am, no. 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 Uh, the, the screenplay was my first uh, taste of the adventure. And how did you develop the mentorship? Because your character is kind of a mentor to Ender at being well, the war hero. You know, it's very interesting. I can't play a mentor. The other actor has to tell the audience that I'm the mentor by the way he or she listens to me. And the way the young actors listened to us, and uh, the way they, did you notice how they move on screen? They went to boot camp for five weeks. Yeah. They move like one creature. And it's quite wonderful for me to walk onto the set, issue a very simple order, and have it carried out in a microsecond, in unison. That gives me my power as a mentor. If they were sloppy when I give an order, the audience think, well, he's no mentor. But if they jump to it, the audience say, ah, there's the mentor. So, do you see, I don't have to act the mentor. Mm -hmm. They have to give me that. They brought that to you. They bring that to me, yeah. And, and working with Asa in particular, did he, how was that relationship? Well, it's my second time with Asa. Okay. My first was with Hugo uh, in Hugo Cabret, um, the Martin Scorsese film. And he had the title role in that, and he has the title role in this. Um, when I first worked with him, I think he was about eight or nine. Now he's a young adult. And it, what's good about, what's gratifying about that journey of his is it's the same boy, it's the same young man. Nothing, nothing has got into his soul and mangled it out of all recognition. He's still the wonderful, pure Asa Butterfield. And lastly, um, this isn't just a sci-fi film. It's so much more than that. Especially you're right. If you've read the book. There's so many, you know, no, messages. You're absolutely you know, right. What do you think people will take away from it? I don't know, really. Um, many things. Uh, there'll be a debate about the young, about adolescence and young adulthood. There, there'll be several debates about uh, how young people want to please, how, how uh, impressionable they are, how peer pressure and adult pressure on them is enormous now uh, in the 21st century, more than ever probably, because things are moving so fast. Uh, I think that it's a very, as you say, a very rich layered experience. Bigger than just a sci-fi film. Thank you very much.